Well, Will, thanks for coming to talk to us. How are you finding your time at Pompey so far? Yeah, loving it. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a real good start. Um, yeah, really settled in with, uh, with the lads and uh, it being such a new group, it was, uh, it was easy. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, been, um, yeah, it's been nice. It's been a good start. Let's look back to pre-season, all the training, the, the trip to Spain and obviously the matches. How did you find that period? Yeah, it was good. It was like, you know, I say like a time where there was a lot of new players. Um, uh, it was a great chance for us to get all get integrated together and, you know, uh, learn about each other's games and, and, and yeah, no, it was just a, it was a good time. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was, um, it was hard work. It was hard, but yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Two of those new players, you and Ryan Schofield. How are you enjoying working with him and Joe Prodomo day in, day out? Yeah, it's a joy, to be honest. They both make it um, like a pleasure to come to work, to be honest. Um, Joe's really um, detailed in his preparations and his approach to, uh, to games. And um, I know he's got a responsibility to set pieces as well. He's, um, he's a young, enthusiastic goalie coach and he's, uh, he's one of the best I've worked with. He's, um, it's a real, a real luxury to have that sort of standard of... Uh, detail and for me to work so closely with him it's uh yeah it's uh, it's brilliant for me and 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 Sko is the same Scoey's Scoey's top end he's a great goalie with great experience um for such a young goalie as well um uh yeah we work really well together we're always pushing each other day in day out and it's um it's a great um uh, environment to be in um in the in the goalie department because obviously we've got two young lads on loan as well um we sort of see them sporadically Toby a little bit more than uh than Josh, but uh, yeah, it's just it's, it is a real good goalie unit. How would you assess our season up to this point? Uh, yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, there's uh, aspects of it that we're really happy with. There's aspects of it that you know we can certainly improve on. Um, there's uh, you know, there's been this bit like I say, there's been some good moments. Um, you know, we've got a we can't say that we've. Um, you know, we've got nothing to improve on just because we've not lost the game yet. Because we've got loads to improve on, we've, we've got another another couple of gears to go through. And and when we do face those problems, we have to uh, be prepared. But you now, like I say, the level of detail that the lads take in during the week and you know how hard they work, it's uh, it's um, it's good that we're seeing uh, some good results on the weekend because you know the lads do put in a lot of good work in the week. Yeah, looking back to Saturday, one 0 win against Carlisle. What was the atmosphere like around the dressing room and training ground off the back of it? Because it was sort of one of the first games where we really have to sort of dig in and, and, and show that side to our game. Yeah, I know the manager wasn't sort of happy with the second half, but um, you know it's it's one of them. You know we, we have we had a couple of good chances in the first half. Um, if we'd have won it two 0 and scored two in the first half, you know I think you can look past the second half and think you, you know you deserve to win the game. But you know if we come in. And, and say, look, we didn't deserve to win that. Um, I feel like, you know, you've got to make your own luck. And, you know, we, we do at times, we do make our own luck. We've scored a lot, a lot of sort of last minute goals and we've hung in there and we've had lots sort of, you know, big defensive moments in the like, latter stages of games. But I feel like, you know, going back to just the level of the standards that the lads set themselves during the week, it's, 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 you know, it's great to see that, you know, the rewards of that on a game day, it's like, it's, it's, it makes it so much easier to come to work and, and you know, and, and put that work in because, you know, we're seeing, we're seeing good results. One of the main talking points from Saturday's win was your save late on. Just describe that moment and how it played out from your perspective. Uh, yeah, I actually slipped, to be honest. Um, you know, it was, it was one of them, the ball sort of, sort of sat up nicely for him on the box. Uh, Regan uh, went to make the block and it just sort of took a touch and it kind of it kind of wrong footed me but I you know it was just one of them it was just after I've known that I've slipped and you know it's just about making good contact with the ball and try and turn it around the post and and unfortunately enough that I did you know it's it's one of them where you know if if that goes in you know probably don't probably don't get the winner it's just they shut up shop and that's it but you know it's just it's it's, it is good to make the saves, you know, I'd rather not have to make them. Um, but, you know, there's going to be times in games where you're going to have to be called upon and, and, and affect the game in a positive way. But, um, but yeah, no, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I prefer the quiet ones, you know, where it's 3-0 and, you know, it's comfortable and the lads do their job and it's, and it's brilliant. Like, I, I, I prefer those ones rather than, you know, the sort of heroic last-minute saves. You know, it's not me. 
Yeah, despite what you said there, how pleasing is it knowing that you played such a crucial part in, in that final result with the save? And I suppose the Exeter game had a similar story back in August. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's pleasing. You know, it's it's always good when you know when you're called upon and you do your job, and you know, it's it's it is very it's you know it gives you it gives you a nice feeling, and you know, it's 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 good in the moment. But you know, I feel I I do I much prefer you know the ones where you win three 0 and it's comfortable and it's you know it's not like you know you're not hiding from your responsibility, but you know, it's just, it's, it's a much more, it's, that gives you just as a good a feeling when all the lads are firing on all cylinders and you've not had to dig deep and, you know, you go out there and your, your game plan works and, you know, it's, it's, I'm, you know, all for the team. So, you know, it's rather, you know, the lads in front of me, more, more, more all about them. After Tuesday's result, a nil-nil draw at Cambridge, that's seven clean sheets for you so far this season. What do you put your brilliant form down to? Uh, your brilliant form. I mean, it's you know, it's very much a team, a team thing. You know, I've got, we've got, you know, we've got lads that work really hard. You know, Joe, JP works on the set pieces. You know, almost as much as he spends as much time planning for set pieces, as he does planning the goalie sessions. And you know, it's it's that's a big part of it. You know, defensively, we're good from set pieces. We we put our bodies on the line. We limit chances. We're you know, we're so we're so detailed, and you know, we're. We're so attentive to other aspects of the game that you know the clean sheets are almost just like a byproduct of it. It's just it's not it's not a case of you know the goalie keeps the clean sheets. It's such a it's such a team effort, and to have like the the quality of the back four in front of me, that's a real luxury for me. Um, you know, lads that are comfortable on the ball and put their bodies on the line, and you know, work so hard for me, and and the team to keep clean sheets. So you know, it's 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 nice to again have that. You know recognition of you know a good defensive record because it is it is important if you want to achieve what we want to achieve this season something sort of fans and, and critics have been picking up on this season so far is your, your ability and, and your distribution is that something you've always had in your locker or something you've sort of needed to work on um, in pre-season in this season to sort of fit the style yeah I think you know it's it's something that you know we like all goalies that definitely work on it's it's yeah, it's it's yeah, something you do have to work on. No one's you know you can't you know just wake up one day and be able to play those those sort of passes. But you know it's 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 tactical work with the team. It's you know it's knowing when I receive a pass where someone's going to be and you know when you know when they receive it where they can go once they've received the ball from me. So it's 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 all very uh, very much tactics based. But yeah, it's just it's nice to have that sort of aspect of my game recognised. But yeah, it's just you know it's. Just doing my job. <laughs> Moving forward, how's preparation been this week ahead of Reading? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, we've uh, we had a good a good point on the road on Tuesday. You know, back in today. Yeah, it's just it's business as usual, really pre preparing for the preparing for the weekend. We talk about the fans. They stayed behind you and the lads the whole way through on Saturday, even when things perhaps slightly dropped off towards the latter stages of the game. What does that say about the impact that they can have? The impact of the fans at this football club is just it's massive it's like having an extra man it's um it can be having played here in the past as a visiting team you know it can be it can be the the, the hardest thing to overcome or like you know you know the classic you know the fans will turn it like that's like a that's what teams will look to do that's why they camp in that's why they do the things that they do it's 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 one of them it's just when the fans are just relentlessly a hundred percent behind you it's it's the biggest asset any football club can have because you know if you've got a, a team that never gives up then you've got the fans that never give up and then then you, you get your last minute winners it's just that's just the byproduct of you know of of having that relentlessness and that's just not just from the lads it's from from everyone and they've been classed this year they've been they've been, they've been really good they've been brilliant at Fratton Park and, and brilliant on the road as well yeah, how sure. crucial can can their support at Reading Saturday be yeah it's good yeah um it's I know they they always travel well. They always have travelled well. It's a huge fan base, and it's uh, yeah, they took I don't know, almost fifteen hundred to Cambridge in the week. I don't know how many it was in the end, but like it was, it's always like a well, a well followed football club, and you can you and you feel it as well. Like it's it's nothing better than you know, going somewhere like that and having that amount of fans there. It's um, like I said, it's you know, it can be your greatest, it can be your greatest asset.